Here is a simple ball lift. It consists of a motor and two gears at the top and two gears at the bottom. The chain has three different ball lifters which can deal with golf balls, marbles, ping pong balls and connect balls. If the chain is too loose and removing one link makes it too tight, a rod can be used to make it just right. Here is an example of how to do this. This rod is connected in such a way as to allow it to slide to the right and push the chain to firm it up, as you can see here. Grey spaces on this rod are used to reduce friction, and then various spaces can be used to set the correct tension. Here, I found that one grey spacer on each side is all that was needed. More spaces can be used if needed to push it out further and tighten it up, but this seems to be just about right the way it is now. Here are the parts of a chain link. At the front are two hooks. At the back, on either side, there are gear pins. In the middle is an interface for connectors. On either side of this interface are two grooves where the hooks go in when they get connected. Make sure that the hooks all face in the same direction when connecting. I have them facing down and to the right. Connect the hooks to the back of another link inside the grooves on either side of the connector interface. The connector interface is used to attach any type of connector. Here is an example with a red connector. I find it best to hold the gear pins firmly to avoid damaging the link. I also use a glove to protect my fingers. Mount the chain with the hooks facing inwards and pointing in the direction that the chain will move. Note how the gear pins fit into the two gears, preventing the chain from slipping. The two gears must be pushed tightly together so that the chain doesn't slip inside. couple of extra comments. I found that when the hooks faced outwards, the chain moved less smoothly. Also, the motor is usually at the top where it can easily pull the chains up 